Today, Kevin and I have a big variety of things uh, to try for you. These are all from Sylvia in San Diego, California. Thank you very, very much, Sylvia. Um, we're excited to try all of these things. I mean, she found some cool things. I have an A&W. This is um, the singles to go. You buy them in a box. Uh, but this is a single that you put in water, A&W Root Beer. And then these are Red Bird. They're Southern Refreshments. They're cotton candy soft puffs. They smell good too. And then I have a giant Caplico. I don't know if Z is part of it, but we have that. And then we have Mito, and these are some kind of mint. We have no idea what those are. And then we have satellite wafers, and they're Garrett's satellite wafers. And then we have the Seas Candy, it's the Limited Mint Scotch Mallow, which we've never tried. Um, a Brock's Caramel Apple Caramel, and a Cocoa Puff Treat, the King Sizes to the Chocolate um, uh, Cocoa Puff. Like a cereal bar. Yeah. yeah, we bought a bunch of these cereal bars when we were over in uh, in the United Kingdom because they had a bunch of different ones that we didn't have here. What do you think would be the plainest? I'm thinking those... Probably the okay. wafer The things. satellite wafers are filled with assorted candy beads. They're five calories each and she said they're a product of Belgium. It's www.fresch.com. I'm going to get a pink one. I'm wondering if they'll taste any different, the colors. Well, don't do the same Like color. a maraca. Get a different color. La cucaracha. Oh, mine's pink on one side and orange on the other. Oh, they have different colors. Oh my gosh, it's like one. purple and blue and, okay. So, so you just put the whole thing in your mouth? Yeah. It's like styrofoam. It is. Mm. That's so bizarre. It was very weird. I don't know, but it's a weird thing to eat. You know I have to cut that open. It is like a piece of styrofoam that melts in your mouth. And then it's got little candy pieces inside of it. <gasps> oh, cool. Like, I can't believe you just ate them. I know, it feels like you're eating a piece of styrofoam. Literally. Something you shouldn't have in your mouth. It feels like... Something you, you would tell your children not to eat. Don't eat. <laughs> don't eat that. Um, and I'm going to take a picture. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, because you have to see the little beads, the beads. Little, little things. Yeah, those are cool. I like the noise that they make. That's not something I would ever buy. No. Now, I don't know if Sylvia buys those and eats them because you could eat them really slow and they would last a while for five calories each. Because the flavor, the flavor of the wafer itself was not good. No. The beads were good. The beads had all the flavor. And I like the texture of those, but I don't like the wafer itself. No, I agree. You like it? You agree? Okay. This is the A&W, and of course you're supposed to put it in a bottle, in a bottle of water and, and shake, shake it. it. However, we don't have a bottle of water. We do have bottled water, but it's grape propel. Ooh. You don't want me to put this in grape propel. I got the... Oh, it smells wonderful. Smell of root the only thing you're missing is the fizz, probably. So it'll be like a flat root beer. For something that you put in just a packet that you put in water, I'm mm -hmm. impressed with that. It tastes actually really good. Uh huh. I wonder if there's any calories to that. They're usually like five calories each. Well, that's, These I would are. buy those. She gave us two of them. Well, she, it, they are five calories per serving. She buys these at uh, the Dollar Tree. And she's told me forever to look for them. And of course... We don't go to the Dollar Tree. We don't go to the Dollar Tree that often. So when we go, I don't I'll have remember. To look. I'll have to look for them because I, I, That's seriously, really good. I seriously might try some of those. Well, <laughs> those and if good. you're trying not to have all the <clears throat> pain. Yeah, I mean, I drink water um, the first half of the day. I drink water while I'm at work. Then when I'm at home, I drink Cokes. I wouldn't mind at all having some bottle of water and putting those in and mm -hmm. drinks at night. Yeah, that um, really is good. Or just put it in a glass like that and drink it. Honestly, that's probably just easier and cheaper to just I, put it in a glass. Yeah. And, because you had a pretty good size full glass. I could have filled it up more. It, it says 16 ounces Yeah, of I water. think it was good though, the way you did it, because it was good in the strong flavor. Yeah. But, 
Those are really good. Very, I'll have to very look into good. that. But unfortunately, they are some calories, which is what I drink now is no calories whatsoever at all. So, but you get all the chemicals. There's probably some chemicals in that too. So who knows? This is made by Glico, G-L-I-C-O. I think we've had that brand before. <coughs> Giant Caplico Z. Uh, this is a wheat cracker. It's a uh, giant uh, cookie and crunch. One container is 210 calories. It is a product of Japan. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this in my life. There's a yoga. Like this? You pull those little tabs right there. There you go. It reminds me of a, 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 drum, a drumstick. Yeah. Except it's not a um, uh, sugar cone, it's a regular cone. Oh, it smells good. It smells like a brownie. Oh, that is a, an unusual looking thing. It literally smells like a brownie, too. It kind of looks like a brownie. You can take the first bite. Good. Does it have a texture like a brownie? Or no, it's crunchy in it. Mmm, that's really good. Mm hmm. I want to taste that. The cum. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm assuming that part doesn't go down. You would like the cum too, though. I ate some of the cum. No, it's chocolate. I ate some of the cum. The cone is a sugar cookie cone. That's good. I it's, like it's it. It's unusual. It's different. I wish it came in an easier form to eat. Yeah. But I like it a lot. I think it has an excellent flavor. But for a kid, mm -hmm. a kid would love that. And that sugar cookie is awesome. And this is not going to melt, so they can hold on to this and, mm -hmm. and just eat it. Mm -hmm. They can put this in their little club hands and just eat it. I like that a lot, Sylvia. Mm -hmm. That really was good. very and It's different. not overly sweet, so it's kind of cool. Okay, this is the Cocoa Puffs. Uh, of course, this is king size, so it's yeah. going to be more than the regular. We have um, cereal bars, like the Golden Grams one is like one of my favorites. I love the Golden Grams. I don't know if I've ever seen a Cocoa Puffs one. This, we might have, I just don't remember. This whole bar is 210 calories. That's not bad. Why don't you hold that up too? I don't it's, have my keys in my pocket today, so I set the alarm off. <laughs> he does that sometimes. It's like Cocoa Puff cereal. Mm -hmm. It's got um, the chocolate chips on the top too. I love those pieces. Mm -hmm. It's good. I love the texture of the chocolate pieces. I think it has a wonderful flavor. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like that. Very good. I would definitely get that again. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know you could buy those. Maybe she didn't buy all these at the Dollar Tree. Because I was going to say I didn't know you could buy those there. Yeah, I don't know. It's really good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the C's limited edition uh, mint, mint scotch mallow. Oh, we like the scotch mallow. Um. And why don't you get there we go. Uh, there's really not much to show so, you except it's a marshmallow with uh, like a chocolate. Right, on the bottom it looks like oh, a caramel. There's a layer of caramel on the bottom. I'll hold it up so you can see. There you go. Mm. Oh, that thick texture of that caramel, or the, mm -hmm. um, the caramel. whatever it is on the bottom. It's caramel. And you get that squishiness of the marshmallow on top. Mm. And the mint. That's, good. That's, That's a, really good. The mint is the first thing to just. And it's not a super strong mint, like overpowering mint. That's very good. Mm, I like them. And I can tell you right now, Sylvia did not get that at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah. Um, Didn't get those at C's at Dollar Tree. There's no telling how much she paid for that one little piece of candy. Yeah, that is actually C's Candies. And uh, they um, have all kinds of locations in California. You know, of course, here you can only get them during the winter in the kiosk at the mall. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that is really, really good. Really good. Here, I like that, that a lot. Okay, this is the Brock's <coughs> uh, Caramel Apple. 
Ooh, and it looks like one of the uh, Twizzlers that I get, except mm -hmm. it's flipped. The Twizzlers I get at Halloween are green with the caramel on the inside. This has the caramel on the outside with the green in the middle. I like my most brought candy. Mm-hmm. Mm, well, I can really taste that apple. Mm, that's delicious. It's really good. I've been a fan always since I was a little kid of Brock's candy. And I'm assuming that that's just nationwide. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm, that's a good apple. That's though, very, right? very You don't good. get the caramel really strong, but the apple. But you really. get the apple. You get the, the apple very strong. I like that. No, during this. We better, I'm thinking we better taste this one. I'm assuming this is Japanese. Shouldn't assume that, but I am. Uh, I'm thinking we better taste this before we taste that cotton candy. Because I don't know what this is, and that cotton candy I know is going to be strong. Okay. And we can, if it's a hard candy, we can spit it out to try the cotton That's candy. Fine. Okay. Ooh. It looks like a little it's a shaped disc. Yeah, it's like a light lime like a pistachio color. No got any flavor really from it. I mean, it's very light. You will once you bite into it. Mm, tastes like grass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I swear I thought that. That's some herb or mm -hmm. not bad. It's different. Like a tea when, or when you first bite into it, it literally tastes like grass. Mm -hmm. What you think grass would taste like. No, now here it comes again. No, yeah, I'm pretty much tastes like grass. Mm hmm Or a green tea kind of thing or Yeah, Sylvia, you'll have to tell us what that is. Hmm. It's weird too, because I cannot comment back to Sylvia in the comments. But other people can comment to her. So yeah, she'll true. she'll leave a comment. She's tried to work on it <clears throat> on her end, but it's not on my end. I can comment to almost every single person. Very few people can I not comment to. Yeah, but that happens to you too, so you know yeah, what I mean. For her you can't comment. That's weird. But so if you all see Sylvia, you should always say something if you can to her in the comments because I can't comment back to the poor girl. I feel sorry for her. I, I talked to drink. her through Instagram. Yes, I want a drink because I didn't like that. It wasn't the most horrible thing I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> I've had worse candies and stuff. I don't know what it is, Sylvia, but I would choose not to eat that. Yeah, I wouldn't pick it again, but. No. Okay, this is the Red Bird Cotton Candy Soft Puffs. They are, it says three pieces are 60 calories, so they're 20 calories each. It says, uh, when soft candy puffs are made, they're very hard. As time passes, they gather moisture from the air and become softer. If your puffs are not as soft as you would like, please leave the bag in a warm, humid place until soft. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> they're a little hard around. Mm. They're like those little wedding mints. Mm -hmm. That's the texture. With the cotton candy flavor. Yeah, cotton candy is not as strong as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But it is better. But it's good. There's a cotton candy bubble gum, and it reminds me of that. Yeah. I said the flavor for me is not as strong, but it's, it's good. It's super, it super, good. super sweet. Yeah, it's good. And <laughs> if I hadn't been on camera, I could have, of course, left that in my mouth and made it last a long time. Made uh, the 20 calories really worth it. That was very strong. That was good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, you know what I'm going to ask you? I know you can't. The drink's a winner. The drink is it's a clear really winner. There are certain things that I would not buy again. I would not buy the the uh, wafers, Salt the satellite salad. wafers. Yeah. I would not buy this Japanese, Japanese whatever, candy. Man. But I do like the C's, of course. Yeah, the C's I like the Brock's. I like the cone. Mm -hmm. And I like the the, uh, the Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, I agree mm -hmm. with you. Yeah. So overall, you know. Yeah, it's just two things we wouldn't buy again. Yeah, just two things. That's it. Thank you very much. 
I will take a picture of what we have left so that you can see the insides because I got a picture um, of everything just kind of sitting up on the counter for my, my uh, thumbnail picture. Uh, but you couldn't see on the inside of like that satellite wafer. You need to check out the, the little candies on the inside of these satellite wafers because they're cool. Thank you again to Sylvia in San Diego, California. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.